Hello and welcome to Nice Work Pal, I'm Jim. And I'm Mariana. And today it's Festival of the Arts at Epcot and we're gonna show you how you can go to Epcot and still stay on your diet and eat healthy. <laughs> now we're gonna eat some junk. Yeah. A little too early for some of the food booths, so time to hit up some rides. Soren is only a 15 minute wait. That's awesome, we're gonna do it. Just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's work, pal. So living with the land, 20 minute wait time. This is probably the biggest line I've ever waited in for this. It's still probably only gonna take 10, 15 minutes. No big deal. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. By numbers mural daily until five. All right, so we're gonna paint the mural. We get four boxes. So, do you know the details of this? We get four colors, or we just get one color get and we color. and we paint four boxes. Okay, and then collectively, we're all making a nice picture that will never see the You only get to color four boxes and it's like five dollars. For reals? I thought it was free. Yep. I thought it said complimentary. Oh, good. Yeah. I thought it was, it cost I mean, I would still do it because it's fun. No, I know. Uh, I'm gonna go with blue. Staying inside the lines are. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, that's perfect. I was wondering what it was going to look like. This is what I painted. Nice. People's were like opaque. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. I mean, I know they're not paying this, but like, it doesn't take that much longer to do a good job. Yeah, we need to be respecting our art. Can we buy this? I just want the cup. Well, let's go see what they have. I want to try a couple things. Great. The first thing I want to try is this. I've been so excited to try this. That's the freeze-dried skill? Is that what yeah. that is? I'm going to try one of those off the cake. I thought it was going to be more airier, but it's hard and crunchy. Hmm. Kind of breaks apart like that. I don't know. Sugar cube or something. Comment down below your favorite Skittle color. Mine's red. Mm. Strawberry. So yeah, we got the Skittle cake. We got the fruit. Mm -hmm. um, fruit pizza. And um, and I got the the rainbow beer flight. I wasn't really gonna have a lot of drinks today, but um, but it's rainbow. You're not driving. Yeah. Um, Can I bite this? Yeah. I know if it was supposed to be eaten with a fork. Uh, I think you have to hold it. Interesting. It's not bad. What is the, the glaze? Is that Pretty like sure it's fruit? balsamic. Really? Okay. Mm. It's tangy. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the raspberry and blackberry fruit tart because it is tart. Oh, this is the blue butterfly lager. Hmm. 
It's okay. It tastes like beer. It tastes like beer, beer, with, beer? beer with food coloring in it. Uh, that makes this one the Green with Envy Blonde Ale. That one's nice too. I feel like having the tart one first might have like made the other ones all seem tame. But, yeah. Uh, more fun to look at than to drink, I think. The cake, I feel it like it's... It looks so moist. I want to touch it. Well, we should dig into it. But I haven't reviewed this yet. Review. Okay, so this... It's good. It's not my favorite. Um, I think it's balsamic. It's definitely tangy. It's not like the fruit, whatever. Um, I was really excited for like the cantaloupe, whatever, condensed cantaloupe or whatever it is. But like I couldn't taste the difference between that and the watermelon. And then there's just like shaved white chocolate. I thought it was gonna be feta for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's just weird. You don't know what it is? I'm not sure if it's balsamic, but... Look how cute it is. That is a cute cup. And I'm sure it's a delicious drink. Mm -mm. No? No? This tastes exactly, exactly like if you were to give me a cup of grape medicine when I was a child, that's what it tasted like. I was going to say it tastes grape. It, it tastes remind, like medicine. It did not remind me of medicine, but... It tastes like medicine. Mm. Well, fortunately, you just wanted the cup. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> Alright, here's the thing. When I was a kid, I never got the good grape medicine. That's we what got it tastes like. Nasty cherry stuff, or well, now you get to yeah. experience it all. Yeah, I, I feel like that would have been a pleasure. Now we have this. Mm. We ate the Skittles off the top of it. I already know what my only complaint is going to be. What is it? Yeah. I saw a lot of people review this already, and it looked bigger on TV. Yeah. It's kind of a small piece of cake. I'm going to probably. I wish I had more. Mm. Wow. That is way moister than it looks. Yeah. Like, I heard it was good, but wow. Yeah, that's good. That's the winner. That is good. Figment, you've done it again. I like that there's not a lot of icing on it because I don't like icing. See, and I like a good frosting, but this hardly even needs frosting. It's I know. so good. You never say that about cake. So, is this all just stuff for sale? What does that say? Chalk it up to you. Chalk it up to... Something magical. Pass holder. If only Molly were here. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, you can paint on this or like chalk uh, it. Chalkboard, yeah. That's cool. It's a little shady too. Mm, perfect. Well, we got the carne asada from... What booth is this from? El Artista Hambrieto. Like right? That's really good. Yeah. I agree, that was fantastic. A few small little bites for 10 bucks, but that is really good. I do like that they have a lot of Disney art. From the Pop Eats booth. The tomato soup with the grilled cheese with pimento and bacon. Oh, that looks good. I like this one a lot. That bread is so good. 
buttery and crusty. Bacon and cheese. Tomato soup is good. Yeah. There's also a lot of bacon in it. There's a lot of bacon and um and the green tomato is really good in there. Mm -hmm. And then pimento cheese I think already has like peppers or something in it. So it's like good flavor. It's fantastic. Five stars, I would get that again. I did not spill any food on myself today, but I did <laughs> spill soup on Ariana's shoe. That was my bad. Oh no. Deconstructed dish. We gotta try that. Deconstructed BLT. Deconstructed French onion soup. Deconstructed key lime pie. Wow. Um. I have a problem. I want I them all. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That oh, is wow. a problem. Yeah, I guess we're going to have a little a meal here. Deconstructed BLT. Deconstructed French onion soup. Deconstructed key lime pie. Okay. So the BLT, you have pork belly, uh -huh. soft poached egg, onion bread pudding. Watercress espuma, don't ask me, uh -huh. and tomato jam. It sounds good. Yep. And then for the French onion soup, we have a, a beef broth ravioli, which is I'm like so excited for. I am too. I love French onion soup, so I, yeah, I want to know how they do it. A Gruyere cream, um, onion bread on the bottom there. Oh, onion bread pudding, sorry. Mm -hmm. And onion textures. Mmm, textures. And then for this one, last but not least, we have a flexible key lime curd, which flexible. is not flexible. It broke. <laughs> it's You're unflexible. Right. It's inflexible. Um, a key lime mousse, which I'm guessing is the the mm. lime there. Yeah. Um, graham cracker cake, which is that one over there, and then meringues. And a couple of nice little raspberries. Yeah. Looks delightful. Super. All right, go ahead and bust it. <laughs> Gold, that is. Okay. Oh, this is a fork, actually. We need spoons. Mmm, the crema is really good. Crema. Mmm. Reminiscent of the French onion soup. The bread is giving box stuffing. To me. Which I don't like. Yep, the bread kind of tastes like stuffing. Which doesn't say French onion soup. Okay, and the final report. So, oh, so I'll just do that. Um, this French onion soup, mm -hmm. I loved the soup and like the cheese, I forgot what kind, what is this? The Gruyere cream, creme, mm -hmm. it was so good. Um, ravioli I think was creative. Um, cheese on top was good, but I don't like this. I don't bread. understand the stuffing part yeah. of it. Maybe because there's like I a lot of rosemary I think it's supposed to be, it. yeah, I think it's supposed to be the croutons that they put under the cheese in the French onion soup. Or it's sometimes a big piece of bread. I also would enjoy un, like, un, unrolled, unrolled onions. Yeah. Are we going, moving over to the... BLT? BLT, the deconstructed BLT. Which I have to admit, I'm a little confused about because it's not straight up B and they're all in T. But it so, probably combines to make the flavors you would find in a BLT. So I'm thinking this is gonna taste like stuffing too. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, same food, right? Yeah, and I don't know, I've never had an egg in my BLT. It sounds good though. I'm excited for the pork belly though. Yep, that's gonna be the, the winner. This is I mustard. Verdict on the deconstructed BLT. Um, mixed well, bag for both of us, I think. Both places. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10? 
just because the pork belly is so good. Agreed. Um, oh wait, the French onion soup is a 8 out of 10. I agree, the BLT is a mixed bag. The pork belly, like I said, might make it worth the price because it's, I don't remember the exact number, but like, I know like for the thick bacon in Magic Kingdom, you pay seven or eight bucks anyway. The rest is kind of like, if you like it, Ariana doesn't like stuffing, so that bread piece was no good. Um, the egg was weird, but I like egg, so it's fine. And it just some toppings. So yeah, five out of ten is probably a good review. We didn't rate our other food. We didn't give them all the same rating. Should we rate it right now? Um, Welcome to the future, guys. This is a rating of our other food that we ate because we forgot. Starting at grape drink is a zero out of ten <laughs> for me. <laughs> I give the grape drink an eight out of ten. I thought it was delightful. Lightly flavored with, with grape. It was light and fun like figment. I felt that it was not light and fun. I felt that it was thick and gross. Um, and if you are Gen Z, you will have had this flavor before in cough medicine. Uh, but I guess if you're older like Jim, you only got cherry and now you're compensating for liking this drink. Perhaps. All right, so uh, the uh, I'll I'll review the Rainbow Beer Flight. I give it a uh, I give it a six because the beers were not really all that special. I like the tart one. Uh, that, that's kind of a not something everyone's gonna like, and the other two are rather ordinary. But the colors were fun. Um, then what? Cake. Cake. I mean, oh, I know what I'm giving the cake. I don't think I can give anything a 10, you know what I mean? Okay. So I feel like it's like a 9, because it was like really good, but also just like cake. I don't usually eat cake, just like for fun. So, 9. I too will give the cake a 9. And with the only criticism that it could have been bigger. Yes, that is true. I think it had nice proportions of frosting and cake though. Oh, yeah. So I prefer my cake over my frosting. It was delightful. Um, what else is there? The pizza. The fruit pizza. Uh, the pizza. I will give a five to that as well. Because it was good. It was fun to try. It's just a little bit below average for me. I'm gonna give it a four because I really didn't like it. I kind of knew I wouldn't like it, and it was worse than I thought. So there, there, pizza. I didn't like you. Grilled cheese. Oh, the grilled cheese was so good. Uh huh. I am. Okay. Okay. I give it. I give it an eight point seven five. Oh. Is that bad? No, that's good. But. The grilled cheese, the grilled cheese by itself was so good. Uh -huh. The only reason it's getting points off is for only you only get half a grilled cheese, um, and that the tomato soup. It, I thought it would be really creamy because I thought there was like cream on top, but it was just like foam. So the the soup was kind of like watery. That's my review. Okay, I'm gonna give the uh, grilled cheese uh, a solid nine on the one to not really 10 scale and I loved everything about it I thought the grilled cheese was great uh, it had a lot of bacon in it which was beautiful the bread was crusty and buttery and um, just delightful dipped it dipped in the soup really nice and the soup uh, was tomato soup it was good tomato soup it wasn't it's it didn't I don't think it lived up to what it looked like in Ariana's opinion, but I thought it was a really good pairing. And the price for the two together, I thought even the portion size was appropriate. So, uh, yeah, I give it a solid nine. And then we're here. About to try our last deconstructed item, the deconstructed key lime pie. So, it's getting seven points off. No, I'm just kidding. 
But it said it was flexible, but it's not looking very flexible. Clearly not. I don't feel like you're being very flexible with the rating. Right. Here we go. Oh. Mm. That's nice too. I'm gonna take a little food break. Make room for more. Go on a ride. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. After you get your eye you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Painted Panda, it's the bubble milk tea. Very, very Instagrammable. But is it good? I, I almost dropped it. <laughs> that would not be good. Oh, delicious. I think it's chocolate flavored milk tea. Oh. Do the bobas have a flavor? Yoga. Mm. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10. Alright. Oh, sorry. Did you guys want Getting a little old for sitting on the sidewalk. No. Alright, so. Here it is, the mozzarella. Looks like an artist's palette. It's thick. Good. It comes with a tiny drop of 10 different sizes. Can you tell what it is? Tomato. Mm. Probably like marinara. Mm. Let me try a little piece here. So I'm trying some straight, straight up, and I'll dunk a little bit in the sauce, and I'll just pick one. Mm. I think it's balsamic. I did not like the pink one. All right, your, your rating? I don't know, I haven't thought about it. You go first. I'm gonna give it a seven because it is just mozzarella. It could have been mozzarella sticks from, um, I don't know who sells mozzarella sticks. Pizza places? Yeah, from a pizza place, any old pizza place. Um, I'm, but it was good. Uh, and they get a bonus point for the presentation. I think I'm gonna give you a seven, seven two. But 7.2? No, a 7 also. Okay. But I actually, one of the points is taken off for the presentation for me. Really? Because I feel like it could have been executed differently. Um, again, the mozzarella. I mean, if you're sharing this with someone, you could do like sticks or something. Um, sticks would have been more convenient. Yeah. And. You need to like put it in a boat or something. This just seems like you're going through a lot of these. It was difficult, yes. At least get the eco-friendly containers Ooh. that Disney's ruling out everywhere. Losing points for for their eco-friendliness. Um, yeah, because even this, like, they're giving you two of each sauce, so they know that the sauce palettes are not big enough. Yeah. And then you're missing out. They should have another sauce here. They should, yes. That's all I have to say. Okay. What we have here is a mixed berry mochi mm -hmm. with sweet bean paste and mascarpone. Okay. Here we have a pork cutlet sandwich. Try it the other way. We have a pork 
cutlet sandwich with tangy sauce and cabbage and a rainbow sweet bread. That looks rainbowy. All right, I tried it. You've tried it. It's good. It's kind of doughy and sweet and. Rainbow sweet bread. It looks good. It's cold straw. I'm gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. good. It is. It's not really very non-traditional. Alright. I'm sure it's just some sort of cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's not terrible. What is it? It's kind of pickly. What are your ratings for the Japan stuff? So the mochi, I'm gonna give a give a um, nine point five. Oh wow! And that's because I really like mochi one mm -hmm. and two. It's the best kind of like mochi pairing I've had um, for like the holidays. They had like a mochi cake, which wasn't it was not giving. But this I thought was really nice, sweet fruit. Rock on! And then and then the the sandwich. I will give it. Okay. Understood. I think I would give similar scores. I'd probably give Moki a, an 8, but that's because I'm not typically a fan, but that's probably the best one I've ever had. Um, and I would probably give the sandwich an 8.5. Um, if it's losing any points, it's because the taste is kind of ordinary. Okay, tell me, tell me what this is. So I have a chai tea spritzer. Um, I was nervous when I went there because they had a chai tea mimosa, and I was like, "Do you have it on an alcoholic one?" And they said, "No." So this is chai tea and Sprite. I like chai tea and I like Sprite. So, so how bad could it be? It's not, it could be bad. It's not good. I didn't even want it to begin with. Oh no. It's so bad. Oh. <laughs> One. <laughs> because if I was dehydrated, it would save my life. That's where it gets its one. It can't be Sprite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I gave it my rating. What's yours? One. One. Solid ones. The judges are in agreement. Okay. <laughs> what I've had on sweet and chai tea before as well. Yeah, that's what surprises me is like you actually know what kind of to expect with chai tea and stuff like, like that. Like I feel like someone's gonna be like, oh, like it's unsweet and yeah, that's like, why it Yeah, like, oh, you're good. ordering fancy chai teas and you don't know what they taste like, but you do. It should be fun to try this out. No, because <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it. So here's the paint by number that Ariana and I did today. I think we did all right. Look how colored in my four squares are. They're yeah. so good. There's a few squares that are a little light. Um, it's hard to get good help. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for us today. That uh, mm -hmm. we tried to eat everything, but we couldn't do it. You're just gonna have to come back. Hey, well. You got your bucket list of, of foods to try, so. Yeah. Um, well, we did our best. We hit the, the ones we thought were most important, and we caught some rides along the way. It was a good day. I spilled drink everywhere, but they fell into the tippy top, and then they're like, here you go.
I can't be trusted. Slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> There's a spice in it that's not good. What is it, like lemon pledge or something? Hold on. It like has like, why does it have rainbows in there? Uh, I don't know. It tastes like ribbon candy from your great grandmother's house. It's a breaded cutlet. You give us the butt. <laughs> give us the butt of the bread. Oh. 